What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Just got done eating dinner, so it's pretty late, but I want to get straight to this so tomorrow I don't even have to worry about it in the daytime and I could just drive the car the way I want to. So basically the issue I have for today is the TPS sensor. It got uncalibrated, so it's actually not at the right setting and today I'm about to show you guys how to calibrate that right when I remove everything off of the uh, intake manifold and remove the throttle body. So let's get straight to that. All right guys, since I got my throttle body off, I'm pretty much just gonna polish this up and clean it because it's pretty dirty and check that out. It's a 74 mil throttle body. What a big thing. But yeah, I'm gonna clean this up, make it shiny again because since I got it off, I might as well just get to it, you know? Get it all cleaned up, so. What I'm using to clean, never double. Now it's all shiny and looks good. So time to adjust the TPS sensor. Map sensor I took off, cleaning it. Might as well double check, make sure everything's all clear. So far everything looks good, throttle body all cleaned up. So let's get to it. All right guys, so the way I have this set up is pretty much the throttle body off. The two Allen nut or the star screws loosen. And I have this right here. TPS sensor. This used to piggyback. I made this so I could easily ground and wire up uh, my multimeter to it. But since I have a VFAT controller, I'm actually going to use that VFAT controller to align with this because the voltage on the VFAT is reading a lot different than the multimeter reading that I'm getting. So let's go ahead and adjust that. All right. So we're, when you get into the car to adjust it, you want to power on your car. Do not start it just power it on so here's the v-fact have this all set up whoa calm down real quick and what i'm gonna do here is pretty much go to settings nope etc and check right here so what i'm checking is the throttle positioning and right now it's at 5.30 so we're gonna go back into the engine bay and adjust that to at least 0.45 or 0.5. Try to get as close to that voltage on, on here. So let's go back to the engine bay. Okay, so with the throttle positioning, all you wanna do is move it slowly back and forth to uh, set this the way you're supposed to. But I gotta line it little by little just to see how it is. So now I'm gonna check. Right now it's reading 0.5354. So I gotta adjust it forward more instead of back. All right. Almost there, it's reading 0.51. So I'm getting there. But this pretty much goes to show you guys that it's pretty simple to do this. You could do it at home by yourself. Just as long as you don't have a V-Fact. Honestly, that thing threw me off because the multimeter is reading something so much different. 0.515. That's what it's reading. Alright. So, I'm going to keep adjusting this until I get to that point And I'll catch, you, uh, catch up with you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so I extended my... VFAT controller to be up here to adjust it a little bit more to get closer to 0.45 or 95 to 0.5 and I got it at 0 0.495 0 0.5 so the other thing I'm going to adjust now is the wide open throttle when I go wide open throttle notice the voltage goes up to 4.8 that is a uh, 300 more than what it's asking for so I'm guessing that's where my hesitation problems coming from that little bit that I finally have left so I'm gonna adjust this to 0.45 
right there or 4.4 close to 4.5 as as I can get because once I get that set I'm hoping that takes away that sputter and I could finally step on the pedal without having that voltage jump up and down making the ECU go all over the place because I really want to feel the power of this H22 and everything so I'm gonna get to that set that hook it up and then go back in the car and see if I messed anything up all over again but I'm glad I took apart the throttle body cleaned it up polished it and was able to work the sensor again and make sure that I had my throttle positioning in the right spot so if you guys are having hesitation problem I hope this helped you guys out I'm no way a pro at all this stuff I'm not certified I'm just a hobbyist that loves to work on cars and showing off what I'm doing to the car so when time comes I'll just point people out to the videos and say hey this is what I've done to the car and I've did, done it all myself which pretty much I've been I've been asking for help not too many people are helping but thank you to those that are helping me out anyways let me get to it so be right back okay guys I'm at this state of the process where I'm torquing down everything to 16 foot pounds I already had most of these bolted down. Bolted down. Oops. Don't forget to hook up your sensors. TPS. Map sensor. Your throttle body. I mean your throttle cable. So now, time to go back into the car. Check this out. Move that V fact over real quick. Let's see where this is at. Nice. Throttle position sensor set to there. Full throttle right there. Alright guys, just about finished putting everything back into the car. I just forgot to reconnect the hoses right here. That one, and there's one more. Where are you? Nope. Forgot which hose it is. Oh, here it is. Back onto here. Alright, and now we're ready to go for a test drive. all up. How do I do this? Man, everything looks so good when they're polished. Alright. Got that hooked. Idle seems kind of rough. Idling at 500. 600. Alright, I think that's because we're not warmed up yet. There you go. My change. Warming up now. All 
All right, we're gonna start recording when we're back out on the streets. So, catch you guys in a bit. All right, just a quick update. So the car's all warmed up and it's idling nicely at seven to 800 RPMs. So, time to hit the streets and see how this goes. All right guys, so about to make a U-turn. Try to throttle out. See how much smoother it is. That was a lot smoother guys, a lot smoother. All right guys, so I'm back home and I realized while I was just editing the video that I don't have an outro for it. It just ends where I'm in the car still and just amazed by how smoother the car is. Just needs a little bit of tweaking and everything. But if you guys enjoyed the video and you guys noticed a little bit of things that I need to work on, please leave a comment down below like subscribe and hit that notification button i'll catch you guys in the next video